Yeah, so since Friday, we've, we've tried to really help people as best we can. I think it's an unprecedented response to the to the city. Exeter City Council has just been one one part of that, of, of really trying to look after look after people. We've had people in four hotels across the, 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 the city. It's around 26 people or 26 families and around 40, 40 people in that core 100 metre. We're now in the process of bringing those people back to their properties for the first time. And this comes after our stru structural engineers have left the scene and they're happy that there's no risk of collapse from the building, which means we can start the building, uh, the process of, of repatriating people and then building back their own lives. So we're asking people today to come back to these properties to see potentially the damage. I guess that's going to give mixed emotions for people seeing those properties. Yeah, I, I think they fall into one of one of three categories. So the, the first one are, are, are people that might be able to move back in today that have got superficial damage. There's going to be others that have got kind of medium damage and they might need a, a couple of days to, to find their feet and speak to insurance and sort themselves out. So we're happy to accommodate them. We're going to continue to look after people and, and provide food and drink whilst that transition period takes place. There's then a final category that's going to find some more structural damage that's going to require re rebuilding uh, and we're asking people to come back to their properties today to start that process off. So when you look at it overall then since the events of, um, of well, Friday and Saturday was the control explosion, how do you feel that the agencies have worked together on this project? I've never known anything like this uh, at all. I've never seen such a heartfelt response to an emergency situation. The combination of uh, evacuation of this type in a pandemic uh, is truly remarkable and I'm in awe of the lead agencies such as the police and Devon County Council and the fire brigade and the bomb disposal experts and everyone who worked tirelessly around the clock to do this. You had people like um, the, the Dartmoor Rescue and the, the Coast Guards who, who came up to the city from across Devon and they worked through the, the night, they left their families at home to door, door knock and get people to a, to a place of safety. They had a 72 hour period uh, where people just constantly worked for other people's best, best interests. Now, don't get me wrong, the, the, the damage to this site is very real. Uh, people are going to be incredibly up, up, upset. Um, but I'm absolutely confident everyone did everything they possibly could to help.